What is up guys? Welcome back to another Adrenaline Rush Adventure. Today is February 26, 2024 and we are headed to the Mushroom Woods. If we find some today, it'll be the earliest we have ever found any morels in Oklahoma. We are taking the boys to school. Say hi to the boys, the River King and Fierce Fishing. What's up guys? All right, we're kicking them out, dropping them off at school. We love you guys. I wish y'all could be with us for this first adventure. We just can't pick the day they come out, you know? Goes River. Bye, River. Love you. Bye, Pierce. Love you. Any other store? No, but I bet you can get a whole gallon for $4 or something. Okay, cool. Check it out, guys. Our receipt with today's date. 226 24 so you know we're not pulling your leg and hopefully if we do find any hopefully uh i'll have time to get it edited today and get it out today also so you can see the date posted how likely do you guys think we are to find mushrooms today on our first hunt of the year a little tricky tricky trick trick tricky trick, trick, trick. what indicators are there that tells you hey maybe i should go see if there's mushrooms out well poppy used to say when the red buds are out the mushrooms will sprout. You know, I do actually find some sometimes before the red buds are out, but I'm talking by like a day or two before the red buds and the mushrooms will be like this tall. I like watching the Bradford pears because they're our first tree usually that blooms here in Oklahoma. A lot of times when the Bradford pears, they come out for, you know, three to seven days themselves and they'll start changing from white to green. When you see any of the Bradford pears getting green on them, the mushrooms are probably out. That's my best indicator. And I know everybody else says red buds, and there's a, a hundred other different things you can you can look for. They say when the elm leaves are as big as squirrel ears. They say when you see the cranes starting to fly or, or the geese fly back north or, or may, apples. may apples are knee high, they say. There's so many different ones. Everybody uses something different. And then, then again, it's just a sign that spring is arriving really. So we'll go see how this goes today. You know what a lot of people use as an indicator? When Nate Williams posts the first mushrooms on social media. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah, you're true. They say, um. I ain't looking until Nate finds one. I ain't looking until Nate finds one. And then some of them say, after Nate finds one, I'll wait about a week because I don't know how the hell he finds them so early. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another Adrenaline Rush adventure. We are out here in Oklahoma on our first morel hunt of 2024. And Miley has joined me today. My beautiful Yay. wife has joined me today because my kids. Had to go to school because Rivers already missed too much school with his pneumonia and everything. So no hooky for them. But um, oh man, spring is here. I hope we can get on the board today. It'd be so awesome. But um, we saw a lot of red buds. Not a lot of red buds, but we did see a few, right? Right? Yeah. On the drive here, not only did we see red buds, we saw elm trees that were already bloomed. Uh, Bradford pears. Some of them changing from white to green. Cottonwood and elm. We have more trees than normal blooming right now. It's like it warmed up so fast, all of the trees are coming out at the same time instead of usually the Bradford pears are one to two weeks ahead of everything. So it's really awkward. I don't know what to expect today, but let's keep venturing through the woods and see, see if they're out yet. Let's go. So guys, I just checked the morale boards this morning and the Facebook pages. There have been no reports in Georgia, which is one of the early states, or in Texas, which is one of the other early states. And there's been maybe two years I found the first ones ever in Oklahoma that anybody reported. So there were some landscape morels found this year in California, but that doesn't really count. They can grow in California year round because of their climate, and especially those landscape morels. They can come out any time. So no real American morels out yet. So I am hoping we can be the first ones to lay claim to Morel Mushrooms 2024. If yeah. we find them, if we find them, we're gonna run back to the house, get the video edited, and try to get it out all today. So and you can see And fry them, we're gonna fry and them. And fry them. Be the first people to eat some fresh 24, fresh 2024 Morels. Great. I need to some boots like that. This is what happens to me every year when I'm mushroom hunting. Dang I tear it. through these briars. Guys, look at this crap. I go through at least one pair of boots every, every year mushroom hunting. These things are sharp and they destroy my boots. This year, I've got some puncture proof steel toe 
outdoor work boots from Tidewe. These things are awesome. We have a motto, no morel left behind. If I see a morel in the middle of a big briar patch, I'm crawling in there and get him. I don't care if I'm scraped up bloody from head to toe, I'm going to get him. So whatever I'm wearing, my clothes, my jeans, my boots, they get shredded usually. But these things, so far, no leaks. I've taken them duck hunting and fishing, and I'm gonna take them mushroom hunting all year. We'll see how they hold up. They're comfortable. I I've walked miles in these things already. So guys, to get these boots, I'll leave a link in the description down below or any other Tidewee products. Go to Tidewee.com, use discount code ARA15. That would definitely help us out and um, help them out and get yourself something nice. Buy it for somebody for a present. Buy them a pair of these boots, buy them something. They've got some awesome waterproof bag. They've got waders, all kinds of cool stuff. Ooh, let's get in here and see if we can't find some mushrooms. I need to get me some of those boots. Yeah. Nate has me fall on him. Did I hit you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, it's dry, guys. It is dry. This is not good. Be slow. They're going to be tiny, darling. If they are out, real tiny. Boy, it's not good when you walk up to your good spot, your main couple trees, and you don't see them right off the bat. It gets discouraging. Last year when we got here, it took me about 15 seconds and I spotted the first ones. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, I'm not. Let's keep looking. So look, there's the first tick of the year. I love ticks. Not really. Dang it. Get off of there. I don't need any diseases. Stay off of me, ticks. I think it's more dry than last year. I was like all down for going mushroom hunting, and then halfway here I realized, oh, if the mushrooms are out, the snakes are going to start coming out. None of us have ever got bothered by a snake ever. I, I mean, I like, know. I see like one mush one snake every like three years mushroom hunting. I know, I know. And it's never a, a dangerous one. Snake is a dangerous snake. <laughs> oh, Did guys. You found it last time? First one? Yes. Are these trees? Yes. Old Faithful? Uh, that old Faithful has been dead for like five years. Oh. Nate's got me all discouraged over here. He said this was the tree he came to last year and that's where he found his first ones. But what also has me discouraged is like usually there's just this feel in the air and I think I can smell them when we're out here. Like you can just, this, there's just the smell. And so every time I think we're gonna find mushrooms and we usually do, I, I, I can just smell them first. I don't smell that right now. Like I don't have that sense that they're here. And it could just be because Nate is telling me that he found his first ones last year within like five minutes of looking. Might just have to move some leaves. Yeah, because they're probably tiny if they're here. Maybe they're just not big enough to smell yet. <laughs> also, it's super dry. That's the worst part Super, of it. super dry. Super dry and crumbly. What kind of tree are you looking under? Ash. 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 What kind of tree is Old Faithful over there? Maybe I'm just bad luck. No. All good. He might not ever want to bring me again if he thinks I'm bad luck. At least I'm good company. Come on, little morels. Last year, Jace was with me for the first mushroom hunt of the year. My oldest son, Jace, he, he didn't have a job this time last year, but right now he's got the old job, so he wasn't able to come on the first morel hunt. Old one. Hey. Beautiful little shroom. Mm. First one of 2023 on March 7th. Thank you, Mother Nature. Oh, here's a buddy. Look, that one was hiding. Ooh, buddy. But he's probably our biggest one of the day, don't you think? Yep. That's a nice one. Just like that. Dang, it's not looking good. It's looking very grim. Very grim indeed. Maybe we're just, we just haven't spotted them yet. Maybe we're just chomping at the bit a little too hard. Ah. Uh, Maybe we just got a little too excited. There's no moisture in the ground. 
What will you give me if I find the first morel in America? What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. What should I ask for if I find the first one? What should be my reward? It sounds like a trap, like you've already spotted one and you're just waiting until oh, I Oh man, I wish. I wish I had thought of that. Dang it. <laughs> You'd have to have spotted the first one first. I know. No problem. I know. The biggest ones we found last year, the ones that had got a little bit taller were like right up where you're at. Oh my God. What? I think I found one, come look. You did not. It's so little. You did not. And it doesn't even look like a mushroom. Oh, no there's way. a bunch of them. Oh my God. Look, there's one right there, one right there. There's one coming up right there. Is Guys, it, look at this mushroom. Have, I'm gonna have to get so the- so micro. I'm gonna have to get the phone out to show everybody. Are you kidding me? No wonder we can't find mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's the smallest <laughs> mushrooms I've ever found first. Good job. <laughs> I did it. What's my reward? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I can't. Holy crap. I can't believe I found one. I like, told her. I found three. I, she just asked me. She said, where did you find them first last year? I said, right where you're standing, about a step behind you. I found the first one. She moves a few leaves. You had to move leaves to find them, right? Yeah. Are you kidding yeah, they were me? Way under the leaves, and I didn't even think it was mushrooms at first. At I've seen them that small before when I found some really small ones, and then they had little buddies beside them. I've never found the first ones of the year that small. Are you kidding me? Some ticks crawling all over me. We have ticks all over us. That is not even enough to take a bite of. Those are I so know. small. How disappointing. I mean, I'm excited that I found them, but I can't even eat them. <laughs> There's a quarter. Wow. It's so small. I can't believe I found it. And there's like three of them. Do you see the other little bitty one behind it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Nate's, I was like, I think I found one. And it's like, no way. Look at that one. That one's even smaller. You guys can see the first morel found in 2024 in Oklahoma. Probably anywhere in the U.S. God dang ticks. Here's number <laughs> two. And didn't you say you seen some more? Oh my <laughs> God. Look at that one's even smaller. Yeah. Look at that. So people who say they just pop all the way up, I don't think that's how it works, guys. Although, wow, what what can you even say about that? Are you kidding me? This is so fun. I can't believe I found them. And we doubted, we doubted us. Looky here, guys. First morel up. So Are you kidding micro. me? First so three. Tiny. Wow. Well, I think after that, I think that we should just call it a, I don't know if we're gonna find any bigger ones call it a day he didn't believe me he thinks i was mistaken after all these years of mushroom hunting all this mushroom hunting experience i have guys look at this morel. and he doubted me 2024 guys look at this first morel of 2024 right there and look at the tick crawling on me are you kidding me wow and we won't be able to cut him down and look at his buddies right there look at his buddies good job babe thanks good job man that's crazy <laughs> Crazy. Is this about the same spot that you found them last year? I Almost mean, exactly. Might be the same. The same like, little. Within right here. The bigger right now is going to be so. Look at this stupid tick. Ugh. These ticks are bad, guys. I've got them all over me. Today is the 26th of February. I found one. Oh, you found one. I did it. I got on the board too. Miley found the first three. There's number four. I had to move leaves to find him. Five at least. Is that six? Is that yeah, another? Oh, oh, I broke him. Oh, no. I him down. I think there's another one. I actually just broke him. Where? Just... No, it was just a piece of a. Uh... Oh, look, there's one right there. Oh, that's a that's a little. You can tell what that one is a little better. Yeah. He's got. Oh, a oh, bigger my one. Goodness. Found the biggest one yet. Look. <laughs> you can actually tell what that one is. Oh gosh. Oh, there's some more. Oh, I killed him. Okay, we're gonna have okay, to. Okay, like, we're gonna have to stop. pick this one. Okay, looky here. <laughs> First pick Morel of 2024 20, on accident. Here, uh, you know what? First Morel 2024, here we go. Down the hatch. Well, on the tongue, chewed up. Num num. How was your breakfast? Yummy in my tummy. Hey, now, at least you didn't spew everywhere like fierce. I've heard that you can do that. I've ate one, I've ate a big one before when I was younger. It didn't hurt me, but I am not an expert scientists so maybe don't do that it's up to y'all it's like we're archaeologists we need like a brush or a leaf blower easy <laughs> easy is not something that i'm great at i know finesse finesse 
You scare me. <laughs> yep, that's a team. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Dang. Oh, here's some that seem to have gotten knocked off. Knocked off. Dang. Look at them. Boom, boom, boom. We should probably just go. Man, I can't wait. Are we good? Are we gonna come back and like how many days are you gonna wait? I don't know. For these fine folks, you know, I I kinda wanna come back. They're gonna be all over. We just can't see them because they're so. <gasps> Here's some we must have stomped on. No, that one was a big old stem. No. Found our mushrooms. I swear I've seen another one up here somewhere. By this cluster, it was. You see this little one by the quarter? So, like right here, guys, we have at least one, two, three, four. There's one behind, five, six, seven, eight. And then here's one that we knocked off, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's at least like 13 right here. 14, 15, I don't know. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, at least there. I mean, uh, 20, so we, at least 20. And I'm sure we've, I'm sure we've stomped some and stuff. We're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna leave my penny. There's three more L's here and I'm gonna leave my penny by these three. Right here. One, two, three. There's a bunch here. Okay, remember what these look like. I'm gonna leave my quarter by these. And then there's one stray one up here. I knocked off his friend. There's a stray one over there. But anyways, I'm gonna water these. Uh, I don't know if it could actually make a difference or not, but we're gonna try it. These three with the penny. Here we go. Don't score too hard. <laughs> Don't squirt too hard, okay? Oh, my water. Okay, guys. Hopefully that didn't kill them. And it wasn't a ton of water, but that's a lot more than they have right now. There's Mr. Abe right there. I'm gonna leave him with the water ones. We're gonna see how these grow. We'll update you. We're gonna update you on video number two. Maybe coming up Thursday, maybe next Monday. I'm gonna come back here every few days and we'll, we'll see how big these suckers have grown. February 26th, earliest I've ever found a morel anywhere, but especially in Oklahoma. My record was February 29th for a long time on a leap year. Bam, February 26th. I'm gonna try to wrap this photo shoot up, but hey, make sure if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave us a comment and let us know what you thought. Make sure you share this video. And guys, we're gonna be filling up a lot of sacks full of mushrooms the rest of the season. We're gonna have more videos, not to mention all of our fishing videos. So it's gonna be, Non-stop action, paddle fishing, mushroom hunting, and noodling all the way from now until September, October at least, and then we'll get back into hunting. Woo! Yeah, we're on the board. Oklahoma, first morels in the United States, 2024. I'm sure they're not the first. I'm sure there's tiny ones like this in Texas, for sure, probably bigger. There's probably tiny ones like this in Georgia too, but we were able to find them first by hard, hard work. This is out of all my spots in Oklahoma. This is like a little microclimate. It always warms up first. Usually just enough moisture here. We're by a river and uh, it's just a perfect little spot. It usually pops out about a week earlier than my other spots. There's a big hillside right here blocking it. The sun hits it and there's no wind. I don't know exactly the recipe. These ash trees seem to pop early. Ash trees, there's cottonwoods. They used to grow from the big cottonwood here. The cottonwood died and there used to be a lot of them growing from the big main cottonwood. It died throughout two huge flushes for two years after it died. And since then, I've still been coming back and they've been growing from these ash trees. It's like they, the, the mycelia, it attaches, it attaches to those roots. And um, whenever it can tell the trees in distress, they fruit to try to move to another host. And so that big tree died and it put off a big, they all tried to go connect to another host. And they connected to these little ash trees, these mature ash trees right near that big old cottonwood where they all were is what I think happened. And so now I find them around these ash trees, not near as abundant as they used to be, but still enough to make it worth stopping in. We are gonna head back to the house, get this video edited and get it dropped on there tonight. And give we me will... a like for finding the yeah, first Yeah, give Miley a like and tell Miley awesome job. Cause I thought we weren't even gonna have a video after the way we, we, we looked for 30 minutes on our hands and knees before we finally found them. Ha <laughs> ha, the boys are gonna be so jealous. They're gonna be like, no, y'all found mushrooms without us. What, what percentages did they give us? My percentage that I gave us was 11%. It was not good odds River, at all. And River said he gave us a 20% chance of finding them today. Pierce said 30, 
And when we left the house, I said 45, but after I seen the way things look this morning compared to yesterday, I gave us a 55% chance. And I was just almost out of hope. And here we go, we spotted them. Great job, babe. Tell Miley, Yay. great job. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Did it! She, it must have been the camo pants. <laughs> must have been the camo pants. After a successful morel hunt, we like to celebrate by cracking open a cold one. Oh yeah, sweet victory. So good. I guess Papa was right. When the red buds are out, the mushrooms begin to sprout. And guys, I'd like to thank all of y'all so much for helping support my family and my love of the outdoors. I'm gonna drop a couple other videos right up here from our past mushroom seasons and some other family adventures for you guys to check out. If you could, please go check them out. Help, help support our family and our channel. And um, you guys are very much appreciated. But that's gonna do it for today and we will see you guys next time.